Well guys, so you're probably wondering why this video wasn't up last night like I originally said that I wanted to do. Um, and there's a reason for that. I had to go out and get some more tools and stuff today. Because yesterday, I didn't get it on camera, but I broke off one of the studs here that holds the retaining cap on. It looks exactly like this one. You guys will, you guys will see the footage of what I did yesterday, but it's got new lifters in it and everything. And the only thing that's holding me back right now from putting everything back together and, you know, I've got to put some new oil in it and everything, is this damn stud that's in there. Um, let's see, is this the one right here? Um, it's actually over here. I'll show you guys both of them for size comparison. That's exactly what I did. <clears throat> and uh, how I did it was that piece of shit torque wrench that I got from Harbor Freight didn't click. So I just kept tightening and tightening it, and I don't know if it's completely the torque wrench's fault or if, you know, these things have been torqued down and removed and torqued down so many times that finally one of them just decided to break. I don't know. Um, but for whatever reason, this thing just would not click, and I even reversed it and tried to torque it down again, and I guess it had already cracked. So in that whole process of things, I ended up breaking it off, and I wasn't too happy about it. Um, it's an amazement to me why the, the, this thing was not thrown out through the garage door or something or skidded across the ground or chucked at the wall. I don't know. I'm not really too happy about it, like I said, but there's a good... <clears throat> well, I, I know I can remove that stud and everything, and I'll show you guys just how I'm going to do that. John let me borrow these grab its things and what you do is you put them into a drill let me go ahead and open it up and it's missing one but I don't need that one I think this is the one I'm going to need and basically what you do is you take this end and you I'm gonna have to center punch it so it won't move I'm really worried about fucking up the threads in here um, but you basically <clears throat> you run it in reverse and it's going to dig a hole into it. And then you flip it around to this side and you're still running it into reverse. And what it's supposed to do is as it's screwing into there, it's going to hopefully twist that stud out. Now this is going to be some very fucking precise surgery for this whole deal. And as I said before, this is an extreme headache to even have to do this. I'll show you guys some of the tools and stuff that I picked up today, and those are right here. First thing I got, there was a few things that I needed that I didn't have, like this. I can use this, $2, clip-on LED task light. Go ahead and scoot that right there. Um, so I've been using a lot of my buddy's tools who left his whole toolbox over that, you know, I went, and went out and bought the same one because I liked his. I went out and bought my own screwdrivers. Uh, these were only like seven bucks, but you know, they're good enough for the garage and the geo. Um, let's see, what else do I have here? I also bought a soldering iron because I figured I might need that for the uh, uh, timing light that I got and just everything else. And I got some solder for it too, $2.99 and $5. Good enough for the garage. If it breaks, I'll just take it back. Um, I also bought some uh, wire cutters here, dykes, pair of dykes, and uh, these I think were two dollars as well. That's why I like Orchard Supply so much because they have, you know, halfway decent tools for the right price. And I even got these for fifty cents. They were right there, and I said, "Why not?" Um, and then the last part was I could have sworn I had already bought one of these. In fact, I'm like ninety percent sure I did, but I could not find it for the life of me. And I had to go out and buy another fucking center punch. I wasn't happy about this because this was like $14.99 and I could have sworn the one that I bought was like 6 bucks. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is just return this after I use it and uh, get my money back for it and just go out and buy a cheap one from Harbor Freight. But I looked all over the garage for my other one and I could have sworn I had it in my little red tool chest but it wasn't there. So... All in all here, I spent a total of 50 bucks on stuff that I needed. And uh, that happens to me every time I go and look at tools is, you know, <laughs> I fucking, you know, I go out and 
end up getting more stuff than I needed. That's how much I spent, 53.42. So, like I said though, I'm probably gonna end up returning some of it, um, especially if it breaks or not, but this is most likely what I'm gonna return. So, this'll be, you'll see this video and then you'll see the clips of everything that I got from yesterday. And uh, hopefully I can get this uh, stud drilled out and you guys will have that video as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and edit this one together and uh, it should be up and you guys should see it. So enough bullshit and I'm gonna get to work. Stay classy guys. Okay guys, so what's in the box? Well, you probably already know based on the uh, title of this video. Um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and open it up really quick. I don't have a knife in front of me. So I just do what I usually do when I'm in this situation. I'm just What I ordered are six new lifters from my car. I guess that's all that came. Let me pull this out, not show you guys too much information here. Um, that's how much I paid for them, $58.89. That was uh, after tax. So uh, yeah, I thought it came out to 53 but, huh. That's interesting. Okay, so go ahead and throw that back. And we got our new lifters right here. So, we'll go ahead and open them up. I will say that these are kind of packaged fairly, fairly interestingly. I wonder how old these are. I can definitely smell them. I think they've been pre-lubed. That would explain why this was wrapped up. I mean, there's a uh, very thin, oily residue film, whatever you want to call it, all over this box. So I'm gonna take care not to get any of this stuff anywhere. So I don't need the cat getting to it. And I'm probably going to have to wash these cutters after I'm done. And so here we have it. Six brand new lifters. That's what they look like. And these are going to be put into my Geo. Strange. I could have sworn these were supposed to be springy. Maybe they're supposed to be filled up with oil first. But uh, anyways, that's what they look like. Six lifters. And uh, probably sometime during the week I'm going to get to installing them. If not on Friday. Um, I'm not going to do anything as of tonight. But... That, shit, that left shit all over the table. I'm going to set that aside over there. Okay, guys, so this is a three beer job so far. This is my fourth one. And uh, this is how far I've gotten. I've gotten the timing cover taken off, the serpentine belt, of course, the two pulleys, you know, water pump and uh, crankshaft pulleys have taken off. Um, I got the valve cover off here, and I also got the whole distributor assembly, which is right over there. And uh, so now basically what I'm doing is I'm removing the camshaft retaining caps. I've already got this one removed, and I've got to go do this one now and this one. And then hopefully I just got to take this off. Now the forum told me that uh, I should remove the cam gear, but I was thinking about it, and I was like... I don't really need to do that, and uh, so I'm not. Um, I'm just going to have to, you know, remember uh, where about the camshaft is lined up at. Dive right into this. These are torqued on here fairly tight.
and I'm going to have to torque them back down, of course. I was able to run this thing and uh, keep it running for about 10 minutes before I started diving into it today. Um, I did try and start it up a few hours ago before I moved it, and uh, it, did, it did the same thing that it was always doing. And even this time, I still had to granny it. So I'm hoping this is going to fix everything it will do. Okay, so here's our lifters, and like the forum was saying, they do come out fairly easily. So let's go ahead and get on to replacing them. Got the new ones right here, soaking in the same oil that uh, I have in the crankcase. So let's go ahead and get to replacing them. Okay, so lifter number one, turn the viewfinder around so I can see what you guys are seeing. Lifter number one right here, pull him out, shake him off, set him there, dip my hand into some oil, oh shit, drop it. Put the new guy in. Keep in mind guys, all lifters don't look like this. Oh shit. See how slippery these fuckers are? God damn it. Dropping shit all over the place. Maybe I should hold on to the bucket. Lifter number two. Move lifter number three. If it's any indication that these old ones are fucked up, so there's six brand new lifters. This is a six valve engine, so hence six lifters. Go ahead and get this guy out of the way. And I'm gonna put these in a plastic bag. Seems like a fine one. Old O'Reilly's bag. So those are old six lifters. I'm gonna go ahead and put these on the ground. Take another drink of beer really fast. I'm going to go ahead and drop the cam shaft down here too. Cool. Everything looks normal. I'm going to go ahead and put the caps back on. And there we have 96 inch pounds. So, on to the next step is getting a 10 mil quarter inch socket. Getting this ready by going ahead and tightening everything down. Probably should wipe this off too. I almost you know, ran my hand across it and slipped. That's definitely much shinier.
And now we're going to take mini torque here and torque everything down to the proper torque value. 96. correct torque, 96 inch pounds. So I'm going to go ahead and properly set my torque wrench here to zero this time. By the way guys, if you have a torque wrench and you don't really know how to take care of it, I forgot to do it last time apparently, but anytime you're done using one and you put it away, make sure you always set it to the lowest torque setting because if it's all the way at the highest torque setting, and you drop it, excuse me, um, you can really fuck up your calibration. Keep that in mind. So I dropped him over there. Now I'm going to go ahead and make sure everything is right here. I guess I don't really need to replace this gasket. I do have an extra one, um, but it honestly looks good enough to still use. I mean, it's, it's not even hardly torn up at all. I'll show it to you guys. This is the gasket here I'm talking about, and uh, it's only kind of fucked up up here and you know that little piece right there, but other than that, it looks fine. I mean, I'm sure it's still good enough to use. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and reuse that. And uh, now I just got to start putting everything back together. I got all six new lifters in. Um, honestly, that was probably only an hour's worth of labor. And I just started on my fourth beer or wherever the fuck that went. It's over there. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get to putting everything back together here. And uh, we'll start it up and see what happens.